just about stories. That's all it's really about. And uh, you can succeed at this if you're a writer. That's why the writer is the most important person in the equation, because if she doesn't do her work, uh, there's no purpose for any of the other stuff. The actors, the fancy equipment, the technicians, and so on. And uh, what her work is to do is to create a story. Something happens, and it makes you curious about what'll happen after that, and so on. It sounds simple enough, uh, and it is simple enough to understand. It's just hard to do. And the reason it's hard to do is it takes a lot of time and people won't give it the time that it takes. It's just too, uh, too demanding of time. I, I tr preach in my classes and in my uh, books on screenwriting that uh, uh, you don't have a chance to make a movie except a personal movie. Even if you try to be impersonal or accurate or whatever that means, um, the movie is it's filtered through you. It's uh, affected by you. Um, it's your story whether you uh, recognize it or, or not. I have a friend um, who uh, is a professor at UCLA, as I am, but not in the film school. He's actually in the School of Public Health. And he wrote a big book on um, uh, alternative health modalities, you know, modern health care beyond the traditional um, medical setup that we're familiar with. Um, homeopathic cures and uh, natural cures, folk medicine and things like that. And he, his book really was essentially a, uh, a survey of all of that. And the way he uh, opened it originally in his original manuscript was to say something like, this book explores uh, new modalities in healthcare, starting with acupuncture and working its way through to herbal remedies and to get something like that. And he asked me to take a look at it because I'm his good pal and I am a writer and a writing teacher. And uh, I told him it was dry as dust, uh, that he had to tell his own story somehow. And here's how the book opens now, very successful book, still in print. Um, in uh, 1982, my infant son was badly burned in a household accident. That's the first sentence of the book. Just think about that. In 1982, my infant son was badly burned in a household accident. You got, you got to read on. You want to know more about that. Uh, the doctors told his mother and me, told his mother and me, not his mother and I, hey, I'm a writing teacher. A lot of people would think that it's his mother and I, but it's not. The objective pronoun uh, uh, me applies there, told me uh, that he would need the uh, baby, uh, a skin graft, uh, that he would have to be hospitalized for uh, at least two weeks. Um, his hands would have to be bound so that he would not uh, scrape at the graft. Um, this would prove so upsetting to the parents, the doctor told them that uh, they would not even be allowed to see the child, much less stay with the child during that time. And this was simply not acceptable to them. And so they uh, uh, started to explore alternative modalities and they discovered aloe vera and they were able to cure this, the boy at home um, without any hospitalization, without any skin graft and so on. Isn't that a more interesting story than just listing uh, modalities and then e examining them. Once, once the artist, the writer, whatever he's writing, makes it about himself, it suddenly becomes interesting.